Hi lovelies and welcome. <lacht> Hi lovelies and welcome. <lacht> Darf ich Mami kurz aufnehmen? Ja. Yeah. Hi lovely witches and welcome to another day in the life of a witch vlog and today I'm taking you on a little trip. Well actually it's a big trip because we will be spending two months in my partner's home in southern Spain, Cordoba, where we will be taking care of his mom who unfortunately broke her leg. To be fair though, right now I'm not too mad about missing out on a German summer. But of course I also have a ton of Spanish folk witchcraft, Spanish kitchen witchery, Mediterranean folklore for you in stock for July and August. Now obviously it's not a pagan holiday today, this is more of a personal vlog. But of course I will still fill it with a ton of magic inspiration for the traveling witch. But I guess. Das ist von meiner Kamera, Engel. Das kannst du nicht in deinen Zapf schmeißen. First, I will be showing you how to make a travel charm and brew a little cottage witch elixir for anxiety, especially for aircraft travels. And I have a bunch of awesome witchy book suggestions for you, especially if you're into Spanish folk witchcraft. We will be talking about how you can feel and sense energy of a new place. And then my personal absolute favorite, I will be showing you a magical Spanish drink that is uber witchy and has actually a traditional spell with it. But now let's get going because we have a train to catch. There's one thing a witch never travels without, it's obviously a little bit of protection. Maybe you have watched last year's Queen Witch on Holiday vlog where I showed you how to make this little herbal sachet that you can hang in your car against car sickness. It actually has like medicinal benefits as well as of course the magical protection. But this year we're going by plane so I have no desire to be sniffed by the drug dogs again. I created a little something else. Meet Chi Chi, the magical giraffe. Oh no, he's so upset. So I know this looks like a toy, and it is a toy, but it also has this little secret compartment um, where you can put liquids in, usually water, but I actually put a little herbal infused mist in there because we're traveling to a really hot country. So not only is it super refreshing, but it also has all these benefits. And you can custom tailor your magical protection water depending on what you're looking for. If you're, for example, a very anxious flyer, you can like put herbs in it that are very calming. If you're doing it more for your skincare or you just, you know, want to make sure that you're staying cool and refreshed, you can put mint in it, you can make it rose water. But I want to show you my favorite little recipe. Back when I lived in Spain, not only did my life look very different, but of course also my witchcraft practice. You know, as a green witch, I love to work with herbs and I love to work with local ingredients, like things that I can forage or pick and so on. So before coming to Germany, I had this very exhausting career, which, side note, it's also nice to have a steady paycheck, but very much enjoying the creativity and freedom right now too. And I actually had to travel by airplane quite a bit, like around two to four times a month. And every time I would go, I would take a different type of mist or protection spray. I mainly work with herbs local to Spain. So of course we have rosemary. Rosemary commonly is known as a very strong protection herb in folk witchcraft, but it's also proven that it actually heightens your concentration. So if you really need to be alert and awake, 
cake, that's a really good herb to use. And we do have jasmine. The smell of jasmine always makes me think of warm, cozy summer nights, spend walking to the beach. But this is also a great herb to use if you are suffering from anxiety. It can be very calming. On a side note, it can also be used as an aphrodisiac. So if you're planning for some sexy time or a little glamour spell to shush up the vibes that you give off, uh, put that on as well. And last but not least, oranges. For me, that's the smell that always evokes immediate happiness. And I also find it to calm nausea. And I'm someone that does get travel sick quite a bit. So I really enjoy to have that fresh kind of scent in that mix there. And for the rest, it's super easy to make. You basically just mix everything in water and you let the water infuse. It doesn't take too long until it really has that fragrance, maybe about 10 to 30 minutes. And then you can just fill it in a little mist bottle and it's ready to go for any kind of situation you might need it. Bit of cottage witchery done in under two minutes. Obviously had enough of filming. <laughs> Estamos en España. We made it. We're finally, finally in Madrid. It took a million and one years. <laughs> Oh my god, why does it take so long? I really wanted to take you around my old neighborhood. I wanted to reminisce. After all, I lived here for half a decade. Take you to all the cool places, but it's not gonna happen. The flight was super delayed. It was so hot. And now we just, just made it in time to the train station to go down south to Cordoba. So I'm uh, gonna see you there. So usually when I go on holidays, I really love to take the time and actually take a physical book, which I don't do very often in my regular life. I much rather listen to audiobooks where I can just like do other things while I listen, like I clean a house, but holidays is my reading time. And now especially that I'm going to Spain and I still want to provide you with a lot of folklore, folk witchcraft and a lot of cool little tidbits about the culture in relation to to witchiness i bought myself a couple of books and actually there's one author that i can really 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 recommend uh, unfortunately he's not translated into english so you would have to read it in spanish he's called jesus calejo he wrote a um, trilogy about mythical creatures and beings in spain and uh, stories behind that he wrote one on the history of witchcraft here he wrote one about the ancestral wisdom of plants and the soul of plants uh, he wrote many many books and the one that i'm reading right now is uh, this one and it's basically about mysterious and historic places all over spain and the stories behind them so i hope i can tell you a little bit more after i'm done with this where's the puppy <laughs> El tren, sí. El tren. Pues. El tren. <laughs>
I look like a hot mess, but I'm just not used to hot temperatures anymore. Anyway, we finally made it. And now I thought it's time for a little bit of a fun and sitting together and having a little drink. And of course I could not end this vlog without actually doing a little bit of kitchen witchery. And I found this amazing traditional Spanish drink. It's from the north of Spain, from Galicia, and it's called a quemada. And a drink in itself is a purification ritual and it's traditionally served in the Noche de San Juan, so around the summer solstice, or as well on Samhain, because Galicia is considered one of the seven Celtic nations. So obviously you have a lot of Celtic influences there as well. And some say that the tradition of making and drinking quemada actually goes back to the Celtic tribes. Other people say it has only become really popular at around the 50s of the last century. We never really know, but it definitely has a witchy twist. And most importantly, it's super cool to make. And it's such a fun experience to do with your family or with a group of friends. Now the Kamada actually combines all the four elements in itself. It's brewed in a clay pot that symbolizes the earth. Now the spirit or alcohol, some type of brandy that's used in there called aguardiente, which basically means fire water, symbolizes the water. We're gonna light this thing on fire, so that symbolizes the element of fire, obviously. And last but not least, air on which the flames will dance. And that's not all, because actually there's also an incantation or a spell that you say while preparing the Kamada. I put the Castilian translation as well as the English translation on my Patreon for all my patrons. It's a little extra to enjoy. And when you read through it, you can really see that it's meant to banish all evil. So my personal favorite line from this incantation is the one about the farts from the vile bottoms. <laughs> Anyways, let's get in the kitchen, do some kitchen witchery. I really wanted to make a stop in Madrid and take you to a really awesome place and show you a little bit more how you can sense energy of a location or a new place or a magical place. But it didn't happen. But I feel we have many more days in Spain to go, so I'm sure I will upload one or two more vlogs about the Mediterranean folk witchcraft life. <laughs> I wish you a most beautiful, magical day and I'll see you very soon.